Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about triangle law of forces. Triangle law is basically an addition of vectors to obtain resultant of any given two vectors by geometrical method. We all know that force is a vector quantity. A vector has three characteristics. It has magnitude, it has direction, and the vectors can join geometrically to form polygons. Now to understand the triangle law, Let's take an example of displacement vectors. Let's say that I need to travel from point A to point B. Now the displacement vector from A to B is represented by the vector AB. Again, let's say I want to move further from point B to point C. Now the displacement vector from B to C is represented by the vector BC. Now what will be the resultant or net displacement from point A to point C? It is the vector AC, right? If you can observe here that the vector joining points A, B and C are forming like a triangle. Therefore, it is called the triangle law. Now let's define the triangle law of forces. If two forces acting at a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a triangle taken in order, then the closing side of the triangle taken in the reversed order represents the resultant of the forces in magnitude and direction. Now let's find the magnitude of the resultant force. Let there be two forces, force F1 equal to 5 Newton and force F2 equal to 7 Newton. In order to find the magnitude of the resultant force, we need to draw the given forces with some scale. Let the scale be 1 Newton equal to 1 centimeter. Now the length of the force vector F1 is, will be equal to 5 centimeter and that of F2 will be equal to 7 centimeter. Let's join them geometrically with their magnitude and direction. Let's take F1 first and then joining the tail of F2 with the tip of F1. Now the, now the resultant force will be represented by the closing side of the triangle in the reverse order. Now if you measure the length of resultant vector from A to B, we get it as 9.95 centimeters. And according to the scale that we have considered, the magnitude of the resultant vector will be 9.95 Newton. Vectors can be joined geometrically in any order. Let's do it differently. Let's take force F2 first and then join F1. And again, we get the resultant the same magnitude and direction. The triangle law gives a geometrical approach to find the resultant force there is another method to find the same that is by resolving the forces into components which we will discuss in the coming videos. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.